Topeka, Con. Child welfare officials investigated the family of a five-year-old Kansas girl five times in the 13 months before she was raped and killed, but were unable to substantiate her mother's allegations of neglect or drug use. A report released Tuesday showed the family repeatedly rejected offers of help. In one case, agency confirmed mother did not properly supervise Zoe Felix. But girl was placed with her father. So no safety concerns were identified. State Department of Children and Families report said. After receiving allegations of drug use and inadequate services at home in late August, child welfare officials made seven unsuccessful attempts to reach the family over next month. Zoe on October 2 after firefighters were unable to resuscitate her at a gas station. Neighbors believe Zoe and her father were camping in a wooded area on a nearby vacant lot. Mikkel Cherry, a 25-year-old homeless man, is charged with first-degree rape and capital and could face the death penalty. Authorities have not said how Zoe. Zoe Felix's death was an unacceptable tragedy. Gov. Laura Kelly said in a statement accompanied by a two-page summary of the Department of Children and family's interactions with the girl's family. Kelly said he plans to push for legislation next year that would expedite the release of information if a child dies from abuse or neglect. His administration pushed for such a change in 2021, but the bill was never passed. Currently, DCF initially only releases a summary of its involvement and cannot do so until attorneys review the document. Typically, Full case reports are not released until prosecution is complete, which can take more than a year. This created an information gap in Zoe's case, which was exacerbated Tuesday when a judge signed the arrest affidavit used to support the charges against Cherry. Judge Christopher Turner concluded that releasing recordings would compromise the safety of witnesses or sources or cause destruction of evidence. Cherry's attorney, Mark Manna of the Kansas Death Penalty Defense Unit, declined to comment. Cherry's family did not respond to phone messages, and Facebook friends described him as chronically homeless. Neighbors said Zoe was wandering around their neighborhood dirty and hungry. Many reported calling child welfare to express their concerns. She reported, according to DCF's summary, Child welfare officials said they received first report regarding Zoe on September 8, 2022, stating that conditions at the home were poor and that drugs might be used in presence of a child. The agency said mother agreed to the drug screening and result came back negative. The agency also said in its summary that Zoe's mother works in court services. Court records show that by then she had been charged with domestic battery against her husband and teenage daughter. The DCF summary said agency offered assistance to the family, but they declined and case was closed. Another complaint regarding